okay good afternoon one and all so in the last session we have discussed about triac diac okay so today we will discuss about pin diode pin diode and tunnel diode so we will see what is pin diode see here so pin diode is a special type of diode so that contains an undoped intrinsic semiconductor between the p type semiconductor and the n type semiconductor between the so you see here so between the p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor you see in the diagram so between the p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor so an undoped intrinsic semiconductor is there right so this pin okay so pin diode is a special type of diode so it contains an undoped intrinsic semiconductor between the p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor regions so between these two regions it has one undoped intrinsic semiconductor right so it differs from a normal diode so it is so if you see the pn junction diode so there is a difference between this pn junction diode and the pin diode so here an extra layer in between the p and n regions so in between the p and n junctions so an extra region will be there okay so here it is a pure silicon or germanium so without any doping so this layer does not conduct electric current so in a proper way here the p and n type layers p type and n type layers are heavily doped p and n type layers are heavily doped regions because these are used for ohmic contacts so here anode is connected to this p type and cathode is connected to this n type right so this p and n type layers are heavily doped so in between p and n so it has one undoped intrinsic semiconductor is either silicon or germanium okay so that is the definition of the pin diode so it is a p region followed by an intrinsic region and then an n region right it forms a pin diode so see the symbol and the basic structure here so pin diode can be constructed in two different structures pin diode can be constructed in two different structures one is mesa structure and second one is planar structure so it can be constructed in two different structures mesa structure and planar structure right okay so in the p region the hole is the majority in the p region the holes are the majority carriers here the intrinsic region has no free charge carrier the intrinsic region has no free charge carriers so here it acts as an insulator between it acts as an insulator between n and p type regions right so the p region in the p region the holes are the majority carriers the, in the p region the holes are the majority carriers so here the intrinsic region that means the middle region 
the intrinsic region has no free charge carriers so it acts as an insulator between the n and p type regions so the i region so p in in p i n so the i region has the highly the i region has the high resistance the i region has the high resistance so it opposes the flow of electrons to pass through it right it opposes the flow of electrons to pass through it so the working of pin diode is similar to the ordinary pn junction diode so the working is similar to the ordinary pn junction diode so when the diode is unbiased when the diode is unbiased the charge carriers will diffuse so the word diffusion means so diff, what is diffusion diffusion means the charge carriers of the depletion region try to move to their region okay so the process of diffusion occurs continue until the charge becomes equilibrium in the depletion region okay so when the diode is in forward biased condition when the diode is kept forward biased the charges are continuously injected into the i region when the diode is in forward biased condition the charges are continuously one second the charges are continuously injected into the i region from the p and n regions okay so here the charges are injected into the i region from p and n regions so this reduces the forward resistance of this diode so here it behaves like a variable resistance it behaves like a variable resistance see here so this arrow indicates the variable a variable one so here the resistance is not constant this resistance changes it is a variable resistance right so when the diode is kept forward biased the charges are injected into the i region from p region and n region so this reduces the forward resistance of the diode so it behaves like a variable resistance right it behaves like a variable resistance so here the charge carriers so which enters from p and n regions into the i region are not immediately combined into the intrinsic region okay so the finite quantity of charge stored in the intrinsic region decreases their resistivity decreases the resistivity okay for example so okay when the reverse voltage is applied across the diode so that is the in the previous case that is the forward biased condition now when the reverse voltage is applied across the diode when the reverse voltage is applied across the diode so what about that uh, depletion region the width of the depletion region increases here the width of the depletion region increases if you apply the reverse voltage the thickness of the the thickness of the depletion region increases so until the entire see here when you apply the reverse voltage when you apply the reverse voltage across the diode the width of the depletion region increases the thickness of the region increases until the entire mobile charge carrier of the i region step away from it step away from it right here the reverse voltage requires the reverse voltage requires for remo for removing the complete charge carrier from the i region the reverse voltage requires see here the reverse voltage requires for remo removing the complete charge carriers from this i region so that 
voltage is known as swept voltage that voltage is known as swept voltage so if you apply the reverse bias across the diodes the width of the depletion region increases here the thickness of the depletion region increases until the entire mobile charge carrier of the i region swept away from it right so here we are applying the voltage the reverse voltage so that voltage removes a complete charge carrier from the i region that voltage is called as swept voltage so in reverse bias the diode behaves like a capacitor see here it is in the reverse bias the diode behaves like a capacitor in the forward bias it behaves like a variable resistor so here the p and n regions acts as the positive and negative plates of the capacitor in the reverse bias the diode behaves like a capacitor here the p and n regions so here the p and n regions act as the positive and negative plates of the capacitor here the intrinsic region is the insulator between the plates it acts as a, the intrinsic region acts as the insulator between the plates that is p and n regions right here the capacitor c equal to epsilon a by epsilon a by w so where a is the junction diode a is the junction diode and w is the intrinsic region thickness intrinsic region thickness okay so that is the reverse bias condition see here so when pn diode when pin diode is unbiased the charge carriers will flow from n region to intrinsic region due to the concentration gradient thus depletion region is formed okay so when a pin diode is forward biased holes and electrons are injected from p and n regions one second okay so when the pn pin diode is in forward biased condition the charges are injected into the i region from the p and n regions so it reduces the forward resistance of the diode so and it behaves like a variable resistor right so when the diode so when the diode is in reverse biased condition so the thickness of the depletion region increases in the reverse biased the diode behaves like a capacitor right so the p and n regions act as the positive and negative plates of the capacitor and the intrinsic region is the insulator between the plates right so that is the working of the pin diode so these are the applications of the pin diode so if we see the applications the pin diode can be as a switch rf switch so at high frequencies at radio frequencies this pin diode can be used as a switch it can be used as photo detector it can be used as photo detector variable attenuator variable attenuator right so in limiter circuits in limiter circuits in high voltage rectifiers okay so pin diodes can be used as high voltage rectifiers rf switch photo detector variable attenuator and in limiter circuits so these are the applications of the pin diode so next one next topic is tunnel diode next topic is tunnel diode so we will see the characteristics of tunnel diode the working of tunnel diode okay so tunnel diode is invented by leo esaki the tunnel diode was invented by leo esaki so that's why it is called as esaki diode the other name for tunnel diode is esaki diode the other name for tunnel diode is esaki diode 
okay so it was invented in 1957 the two important points about tunnel diode is this diode is heavily doped diode and the depletion width is very low so tunnel diode is heavily doped diode and the depletion width is very low so the tunnel or esaki diode so it is a thin junction diode which exhibits a negative resistance so the main important property of this diode is it exhibits negative resistance under low forward bias conditions okay so the tunnel diode is invented by leo esaki in 1957 So the two important properties are so tunnel diode is heavily doped diode and the depletion width is very low so see the if you compare the ordinary pn junction diode and tunnel diode an ordinary pn junction diode has an impurity concentration of about 1 part in 10 power 8 an ordinary pn junction diode the impurity concentration is about 1 part in 10 power 8 okay one second so with this amount of doping the depletion layer is in the order of 5 microns the depletion layer is in the order of 5 microns so ordinary pn junction diode has an impurity concentration of about 1 part in 10 power 8 right so with this amount of doping the width of the depletion layer is in the order of 5 microns so if you see the tunnel diode if you see the doping levels in the tunnel diode here the doping levels are 1 part in 10 power 3 in the tunnel diode the doping levels are 1 part in 10 power 3 due to this the device characteristics are completely changed okay so due to high heavily doping the device characteristics are changed see here so see the symbol of tunnel diode here it has two terminals anode and cathode please don't change the slides second we are changing the slides so in the vi characteristics of a germanium tunnel diode so first forward current rises sharply as applied voltage is increased so if you see in the ordinary pn junction diode the current rises slowly the current rises slowly in the ordinary pn junction diode but in the tunnel diode the current increases sharply okay so due to heavily doping so due to heavily doping second i'm getting the disturbance okay so see the working of tunnel diode 
So first one is unbiased tunnel diode. For any open circuit device, the net current must be zero. So that is, there must be no flow of charge in either directions across the junction, right? So unbiased, here we are not applying any voltage. For any open circuit device, the net current must be zero. You see here, here, here there is no tunnel current. In the unbiased mode, there is no tunnel current. If you apply the small voltage to the tunnel diode, so here apply the small voltage to the tunnel diode. So there are occupied states in the conduction band of N side. See here, occupied states in conduction band of N side, which are at same energy level as allowed empty states in valency band of P side. So see in this diagram. So that's why electrons will tunnel from N to P material, right? So if you apply the small voltage to the tunnel diode, here the electrons will travel from N type to P type material. So it gives to forward current. So it gives the forward current. So a small tunnel current is flowing, right? So see in this characteristics. So when you apply the small voltage to the tunnel diode, a small current is flowing through the diode, right? So in the previous unbiased condition, here there is no current, there is no forward current, right? So in the unbiased condition. So if you apply the We apply the forward voltage, small forward voltage, then the charge carriers are moving from N type to P type. So that's why there is a small tunneling current is flowing through the diode. Okay. So the VI characteristics of the tunnel diode, see here, in the VI characteristics, okay, see here, applied voltage is slightly increased, if the forward bias is further increased, if the forward bias is further increased, so the level on N side goes, goes on shifting as shown in figure, see here, here the voltage levels are increasing. So maximum number of electrons can level occupied, occupied states on N side of junction, tunnel through barrier to empty states on P side. So then the maximum current is flowing, right? So if you increase the applied voltage, so applied voltage is further increased. So if forward bias is further increased, the level on N side shift to further and tunneling current decreases, right? See here, if we increase the forward voltage, here the tunneling current is going to decrease. Okay, so in the first, in the unbiased mode, there is no tunneling current. If you apply the small voltage, then the current starts flowing through the diode. If you increase the forward bias voltage, the current the maximum current is flowing through the diode, right? Still, if you if you increase the forward voltage, then the tunneling current is going to decrease. Okay, the tunneling current is going to decrease. So apply a large forward bias voltage. If the applied voltage is largely increased, the tunneling current drops to zero. Okay. So at this point, if you apply the large forward voltage. The conduction band and valency band no longer overlap and the tunnel diode operates in the same manner as a normal PN junction diode. See here, so from this point, so from this point, it behaves like a ordinary PN junction diode. If you apply the large forward bias voltage, the conduction band and the valency band 
so this at this point the connection band and valency band no longer overlap so the tunnel diode operates like a pn junction diode the tunnel diode operates like a pn junction diode right so these are the va characteristics of tunnel diode see here so from these two points so from peak voltage to valley voltage we have the region that is negative resistance region so from peak voltage to valley voltage so this is the peak point peak voltage this is the valley voltage valley point so here this region is called negative resistance region so in this neg negative resistance region if you you are increasing the voltage the current decreases okay in the negative resistance region here the voltage is increasing but the current decreasing right so from this point the current is decreasing so it decreases up to valley point so still you are increasing the voltage still you are increasing the forward bias voltage from this point from valley point the tunnel diode behaves like a ordinary pn junction diode so it behaves like a ordinary pn junction diode right so when a small forward bias is applied to the junction the energy level of the p side is lower as compared with the n side so electrons in the conduction band of the n side so you see that is a empty energy level on the p side so tunneling from n side to p side takes place right so tunneling in other directions is not possible because the valency band electrons on the p side are now opposite to the forbidden energy gap on the n side okay so if we see the advantage it has a long life low noise so low power consumption and the speed of the tunnel diode is high so long life high speed operation low noise and low power consumption so when comes to disadvantage so it can be operated so that is the operating voltage is 1 volt or less than less than 1 volt the operating voltage is 1 volt or less than 1 volt so it has two terminals right anode and cathode so being a two terminal device there is no isolation between the input and output circuit so being a two terminal device there is no isolation between the input and output circuit so it has only anode and cathode so that's why so isolation no there is no isolation between the input and output circuit okay so on the operating voltage is so nearly 1 volt or less than 1 volt so when comes to applications so tunnel diode is used as an ultra high speed switch tunnel diode is used as an ultra high speed switch with the switching speed of the order of nanoseconds or picoseconds the switching speed of the tunnel diode so is in the order of nanoseconds or picoseconds okay so as microwave oscillator the tunnel diode used as microwave oscillator in relaxation oscillator circuits as an amplifies okay and logic memory storage device logic memory storage device so for storing purpose also the tunnel diodes can be used so the applications of tunnel diodes are 
लॉजिक मेमोरी स्टोरेज डिवाइस माइक्रोवेव ऑसिलेटर रिलैक्सेशन ऑसिलेटर एंड एंड एम्पलीफाइज राइट वेन कम्स टू एडवांटेज सो लो नॉइज इजी ऑफ ऑपरेशन हाई स्पीड एंड लो पावर कंजम्पन If you see the disadvantages, the voltage range is the voltage range is nearly equal to one volt or less than one volt. So and it has two terminals only. So being a two terminal device, there is no isolation between the input and output circuit. Okay. So this is about thermal diode and pin diode. So with this, I am going to stop the presentation. If you have any doubts, you can ask me.